call to worship. If you are tired from carrying heavy burdens, come to me and I will give you rest. Take the yoke I give you, put it on your shoulders and learn from me. I am gentle and humble and you will find rest. This yoke is easy to bear and this burden is light. Christ calls us to come to worship, to rest from the things that are troubling us, to learn that Christ can teach your life, to realize what we can offer to others. So return into the world to serve God. Let us pray. In times of weakness, an hour of need, yours is the strength by which we carry on. The shoulder we rest our head upon when our load is heavy and too much to bear. Yours are the arms stretched out to help us the grace that we depend on. In times of weakness, an hour of need, your voice is heard. Come, find rest. This is grace divine. The path we tread to wholeness of body and spirit. The path that leads to you and for which we offer our offerings of praise. Amen. And we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, for the time being, we have no hymn singing. And also, you know, no, no uh, church notices, any kind of things. But you can hear the hymn, For I'm Building a People of Power.
It's a bit strange, isn't it? What singing hymns it is huge part of my life, and also in you know, a big part of in our worship. Sometimes people said to me, "Oh, James, your voice is too loud. You know, turn off your mic, or don't sing it, or just a little bit." But before any talk or reflection, you know, that is always connected with my theme. And then without singing loudly, you know, with the bottom of my heart, it's not, I, I don't feel like any kind of things. But at the moment, we have to get used to new normal. So, for the time being, I, I like to put, <laughs> what, what do you call that, the uh, uh, public sc screen? Or I might take off my shower screen, put it on that, and then sing on my own. <laughs> Any kind of thing. I, I love to, but at the moment, we have to wait, you know, you know until a further notice what we can sing. The, uh, at the first time, I thought I can sing with the visors because it is the screen to block all that, you know, job list or something like that. But, it sounds not like that. Anyway, we have to, you know, hang up at this new kind of service. So, and also our service is not going to be one hour. So it's good news, isn't it? So it's not going to be a long sermon or long hours. But we're going to do what we could do. The Bible reading is from Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 to 7. Only two verses. As therefore you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so live in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Oh. Those who haven't seen my previous video, but up to last week, you know, I uh, went around three churches. Today morning is a bit strange because before seven o'clock, I woke up and then, you know, wash and, you know, be ready and set up half past seven and traveling, you know, to work and take video. And then to Orland, take another video and come in here, another video, went back home and upload, you know, on YouTube and connect with uh, WhatsApp and Facebook and all kinds of things. And today suddenly we started new normal and then I woke up before seven o'clock, be ready, wash my face and all the things and have breakfast, but still... It's eight o'clock. So I had to wait <laughs> half past nine to come here. All sort of things. But before, what I talked about was the kingdom of God. Two weeks ago, I talked about kingdom of God is like mustard seed. Mustard seed is the greatest, no, 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 the smallest of all seeds, a tiny bit. But when it grows, it becomes the greatest shrub and becomes a tree. So smallest become big tree. And last Sunday, I talked about kingdom of God is a hidden treasure. Have you seen that movie, The Lord of the Rings? No? Oh. Then you can't understand that. Then what is the, 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 I can't remember. My precious. What is that? I, I don't know the name. That is, the kingdom of God is precious. 
is more than what I have. So he sold what he had everything to buy that. And that is kingdom of God. So kingdom of God, that is what we can have. Now in here, another Bible message. Think about the secret of the kingdom of God. A few days ago, you know, my neighbor asked me, James, are you collecting weeds? If you do, I can offer you a lot in my garden. Well, the thing was, you wonder, nowadays we have no service, no visiting, so what is you know, our ministers are doing during the week? Well, at the moment I'm spending a lot of time in my garden. Front garden and back garden, two or three days a week, kneel down, pulling all the weeds a little by a little. Who is going to win? Who? Not me. Two or three days in a week, I spend quite a lot of time where you are wrong. I cannot win that battle. Oh, where is gone? A few days ago, I picked Can you see that? How thick? I tried to pull it. I think round, pull it, but I couldn't. That thick. The roots, so long. And also this one is a little bit similar. It's the same width. But can you see that? And in here, can you see that roots are coming down? These roots are so long, and then it's connected. What you call it? This is branch or arms or it connects to spread and then reach down another root and then another. I think these weeds know. The kingdom of God are much better than me. Much better than me. Because I tried to pull it out and take it out. And someone said to me, pull, you know, now, hot water over there. No way. Someone said to me, spread, uh, what is the salt? Uh, I tried and tried, no. But what I found, the kingdom of God, the secret of kingdom of God in here, Bible, Colossians chapter 2, it is said, if you have received Christ Jesus, live in him, and, verse 7, rooted and built up in him. I'm not going to say no more. There are so many things to talk about, but what I'm going to talk about today is rooted down, but built up. That is a secret of the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God starts from one. One seed, one person. To reach it down, that is a personal, what you call that, encounter? Encountering Jesus Christ and then the word of God fell on our hearts. And then rooted down. That is a personal growth. If it is not deep enough, it's very easy to pull it out. And also on dry and drought, no rain, no water, easily die. That's why it has to be gone down, personal things, by prayers, uh, by uh, Bible study, or by meeting together and hold together, and all kind of things. 
But today, what I want to talk about the builder, like this one. When I pulled this part, what do you think? It's gonna die? No. It's connected with until I pulled up all together. What I found was me personally praying God every day, read the Bible, and think about all kinds of personal relationship with God. But it's not strong enough. And the Bible, it is said, second cooperation and togetherness. If we hold together, that is much more strong. Just one paper. Can you tear down? Wow, I'm sure you do. It's easy, isn't it? With the two fingers, it's very easy. But can I challenge you, anyone, to tear these papers? Same paper, but I folded, I don't know how many, uh, 20 or 30 ish. Is there anyone? Who can tear this paper? Even me. No. What is called that? This is the secret of kingdom of God. Hold together. Church could be one person, but one person with another. Get together. Get together. We hold together. Embracing together. That is oneness. That's why it is said 1 Peter chapter 2, come to him, to that living stone, rejected by men, but in God's sight, chosen and precious. And like living stones, by yourselves, built into a spiritual house. We are no longer one another. We are built in one church, one body. That is what is called rooted down deeply. That is not good enough. We have to hold each other. We have to build together. Look at this house. Oh, no, no, a church building. We don't hold churches. It's called a church or the church. It's one church. But how many parts of different materials are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Sand and cement and metal and wood and then nails and then what kind of things are, 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 are lies and then, you know, the, the, what is the, the roof and all kind of come together, hold together. That is what Jesus said, the kingdom of God is head of Jesus Christ and body of us. There's fingers, arms, and legs, and you know, intense parts, and all together, come together, build one church. And there is a problem nowadays. We used to, we used to do all together. Meeting together, Bible study together, hold together. Hugging and kissing and meeting and, you know, eating, you know, all kind of things. And the things nowadays, we cannot do what we used to. There is a trouble, isn't there? We can't even shake hands, cannot hug. Because it's new normal. In this part, we have to think about to uh, what can I adjust to adopt new normal. Otherwise, the church will not survive. In this pandemic, we can still pray 
for you know personal prayers, and then you know do all kind of things. But how we are going to do for hold together, doing you know and the same things together. That is what I want to say in new normal. Do you have a smartphone? How many people has got that smartphone? Okay, okay. You know what frustrated for, you know, for me. I wanna contact with you. I wanna ring you. I wanna, you know, do the, you know, face to face, you know, a ring, and then I wanna do the Bible study. I wanna do the conference. I wanna do all kind of thing, but in new normal, I can't. There's no way. But I'm going to ask you to buy tablet. Yeah. Is there any internet in your house? No internet. Hmm. Then buy smartphone. I've got this one. I well because I have got that. Uh, I've got an internet in my house. I don't spend not much money, but within three months or four months, four months I spend only ten pounds for ring, phone others in emergency. At home I can use you know phone, and then at home I use that Wi-Fi, my internet. But you don't need to buy any expensive things if you have. Grandson or granddaughter or grandchild, probably they have got a second hand, old one. You don't need to buy any expensive. Just buy the one, and then, well, probably as a daunting for you to have and to use that smartphone. But it's not that. Is there anyone who is hard to use your TV? Is there anyone who don't know how to use TV, turn it on and off, and you know, change the channel? Is there anyone? No. As long as you can use TV, you can use smartphone. That easy. You don't need to know how to change the things and you know, the put it on the apps and all kinds. Of, it doesn't matter. You don't need. Even me, that is more. You know, uh, 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 one thousand pounds worth that one minus, but I, I, I don't use that. Few Facebook, YouTube, email, and googling, and nowadays I use quite a lot of you know Zoom meet, video meetings, all kind of thing. Within that, what I do, I do ministers meeting. And then it's uh, no no a, a Bristol ministers meeting and Bible study and a conference and also a Zoom meeting all kind of thing within there. Is it hard? No, it's all in there. Few things you can ask your son or your grandson, and only what you could do is touch, and that's it. And you can talk free talk. You don't need. If you don't have internet at your home, you can uh, spend six pounds per month, and then you can have unlimited free call, unlimited, and five hundred megabyte. Wow! <laughs> you, you don't understand what is there, but but at least you can spend ten pounds per month. That is one meal per month. And then you can do all kind of things. What I'm talking is in a new normal. We have to adopt a new normal within that. We can hold together with that, you know, uh, uh, IT things and internet things and with a smartphone or tablets whatsoever. Well, in our church we have got WhatsApp, you know, connected with uh, just a few people, not many, but the other church Oland. More than two thirds are connected, 
and what they do during the week. They put it up, you know, what they are doing, take a picture of flower or video clips, a small video clip, clips and then all kind of thing and then they discuss each other and sometimes that makes trouble <laughs> because their opinions are different. But that is a normal. And all kind of things we can do. That is what we can hold together and build up together. That is very important. Believing in Jesus on my own, that is not good enough. That is not good enough. The kingdom of God, that is what we have to build up. That is our mission. That is not on my own, but together. So remember, if you have received Jesus Christ, so live in him, rooted and built up in him. Let us pray. We pray to the Lord, to the God who is our shelter and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. We pray for our communities, for the elderly, confined to their homes and separated from family and support. For children, for those who have lost their sources of income, for those who fear not their home, for those who have no home, for those offering extraordinary everyday kindness. We pray for key workers, for all medical staff and hospital workers who go to work knowing the risks they face, for medical researchers seeking ways to prevent and to cure, for social workers protecting the vulnerable, for care workers providing contact and support to those who have no other help, for teachers, for farmers, delivery and shop workers, keeping the nation provisioned for cleaners, fighting the spread of infection. We pray for the world, for the leaders of the nations and their governments, for areas most besieged by the pandemic, for broken places where healthcare and resources are not enough. And the pandemic brings further suffering. We pray for those who are sick, for those afflicted with coronavirus, for those with other illness and conditions which leave them vulnerable, for those with poor mental health, for all who suffer. Remembering especially Doggy and Calf, Palm and Ray, Mark and Lucy, Matthew and Mary, Gordon and Anne, Brenda, Anita, Vera, John, Jim, June, Son and Mike, Carol and Patrick, Trish and Sons, Wynn, Diane and Ken, Robert, Betty, and for all those known to us who are in special need of our prayers. Give them the strength and courage to carry on and hope for the future. We offer up our hopes and fears, our joys and sorrow to God, our refuge and strength. Lord, 
listen to our prayers, and hear the voice of our supplications, as we, who trust in your word, eagerly await your help. For you are the God of our salvation. This we ask through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks for coming. Well, I'm gonna finish our service. We don't have also uh, offering time during the service because someone has to come in an, an hour and then we have to reduce uh, any contact with him or you know close to any others so as you come in, in you can uh, put the offerings the basket outside or when you go out and we appreciate all your help let us pray it is time to go out and share God's secret purpose, which has been disclosed in Jesus Christ. With God's help, share the secret with others by the way you live, with the words on your lips, by the deeds of your hands, with the prayers in your minds, and through the love in your heart. And the blessing of God, the Almighty, our Father, and the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Amen.